the government is reluctant to end this uh, farmer health men clashes. Because all this why? Why is it that no one single person has been caught? No one single person has been shown out maybe by the media or taken to court. It seems that the authority know something about it and trying to hide something from us. People should, should, should try, try and uh, you know, defend themselves. The Brownlee is in Nigeria, have you? So they have the right to rear their cows whatever they like. It is the problem that people hate the present administration. That is why they are saying, instead of them to gather together and find the lasting solution, it will help us. For us to be saying and saying it will not solve the problem. It is government only we solve the problem. Let them come to their tables and look what is the problem between plan and D. It might not, maybe do, the people that they have is I point, uh, accusing. Maybe they are not, the, uh, it might not be. As men and farmers, with uh, the people in the community, they have been living together for years. But when they brought in the issue of politics into as men issue, that's why you see it degenerate to this level. Because Buhari is a full animal. Anytime they want to talk, they will say full animal as men. I don't understand. There are some people that are yes men that are not necessarily be full of But because we are a full of man, some people now brought in politics. The politics are pulled down. That's why they brought to it. I don't know. There are some people that are sponsoring that killer yes men. I, I will what? put the blame on the politicians that doesn't win this country very well. I don't understand. They are wasting the life of we, the populace. When Jonathan was there, they were using Boko Haram to spoil that administration for that five years that he used. And instead of the project that he want to uh, do that time, Boko Haram doesn't allow him. And so the document of we the masses, but some people, they don't know. Now Buhari too, when he enter now, they are using SMS and all these crises so that they will distract him. He said they are distracted. The people that are doing that, they don't win this country very well. We don't have government at the, at the moment. But I keep blaming the individuals, you understand? How can you? especially the state government. How can you be in the states? Someone will cross over from another state, come and be killing your people, and you are waiting for federal government to come and protect you. It's not done. I hope the government, I mean the state government, to rise up to the challenge, take up their arms, I'll be waiting for them. Anywhere they are full of ESP, you go there, you clear your area, you protect your territory. If I am with their position, that is what I will do. Yeah. So if you are waiting for federal government to come from Abuja to come and protect your territory, to come and protect your land, I'm sorry for you. They should call everything to order now. They know these people. They should meet them. What is their problem? The government should ask them, what do they want? If, to, if it is to go and resettle to them in a place. It's not fair when somebody will just rose up and started killing his fellow men. It's uncalled for. It's not, it's, it is not an idea something. What I think the government can actually do, like in a Bonny state now, for instance, you see, uh, the Dave Umai, which is the governor of a Bonny state, actually put up a policy. The policy is this. Um, there is there's going to be a biometrics to checkmate the number of hex men in a particular state. So that biometrics we actually help to know the number of hex men in that particular state and, in this, and, uh, and at the same time stop further entrance of hex men. By so doing, you can actually check the activity of hex men and uh, the issue of farmer hex men clash can actually be resolved. So I think other states should take a clue from what uh, Engineer Dave Omaya of Ebony State is trying to do. Every Nigeria, they share them one, one million each. That will stop the killing of everyone. We have the money. We have the money. We have the money. Stop loss. If, if Buhari and the good luck can go your camps, they can solve Nigerian problem. Buhari, Saraki, good luck, and all ex president close their accounts, or give at least half of their accounts, Nigerian problem will be solved. Looking at the henchmen killing, what we have discovered is that people have taken it to be ethnic and religious issue. It is not. But what we are looking at is to find lasting peace solution. That is the only way out of the whole quagmire. And to find the lasting peace solution, one, the cattle rustlers, that one should be, looking, should be looked in onto. Two, the henchmen that are killing the people, the security agencies, should take care of that so that at the end of the day there will be a win-win situation. Each state 
should provide the land for the ranches. So are you telling me now the herdsmen now are more stronger than the Nigerian military, than the Nigerian police? And nobody's saying anything. So Nigerians are not happy. I'm telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. Nigerians are not happy. So people are waiting for next year. So let's see how next year we go. Because the same people that deceive us 2015 are the same people that put their back on us now as if this killing, these are, these are innocent Nigerians. They don't deserve to die. What did they do? You know, different people have different opinions. But my opinion is that why cannot solve everything for us in this country? Let us, he says, have the ministry, have the, uh, a commission of, uh, of, of security. Let the East state go defend himself. Let the ballet or others of, of the, the state, let the governors call them, do meeting with them, and solve the issue of the one state. Why cannot come to East state and solve it? Are you understand me? That's my opinion. And second, my opinion, let it, in that of Buari, nobody disturb about Anjo. Nobody disturb about Anjo in that of the of, of your government. Let the Anjo allow Buari to do your own government. Yes, for, for, for my own opinion, what the government should do in terms of fairness, men. You see, because the sin is linger. My own option, let everybody go his way. Let Ibo go, let Yoruba go, let Ausa go. Government, the government is not defending our uh, people. Government, they are there eating money. Then leave all masses dying, every people dying, they don't care. If government are fighting for masses, why government, why government don't go and visit people that, where they keep people in masses over there? Okay, I think my own view of the matter about uh, the recent killings is that um, I believe that if the government should sensitize the people to know that we all belong to one another, that Nigeria is one entity and that we are brothers and sisters, if people should know this, I think this killing will stop because we will no longer see ourselves as enemies. If we can see ourselves as brothers and sisters, this killing will stop. We don't need to go far about this. It's all about knowing that we are all one. Uh, in, I mean, uh, on the issue of defending themselves, if that we don't should be given to them, we don't know how far they can go. So I think government has a role to play in terms of security of the masses. Okay. Uh, concerning the killings here and there of innocent people by full and yes men, uh, well, I think this is the time for the people of the affected state to raise an army to, de to defend themselves. You know, look at what happened uh, in Benue State when 73 people were brutally murdered by this uh, full and yes men. And uh, there was no reaction from the presidency. Even the IG of police, his attitude towards uh, that incident was lukewarm. So I think people should defend themselves. Actually, the government knows the right thing to do. And Mr. President, I about the necessary advisor around him to do what is right concerning Fulani Eastman. But it's just that the president has never come out once to utter strong words or to caution these guys to solve better. And every Nigerian knows these are his tribe men. And we've had some couple of stories about how he tried to defend Fulani when they have issue in Oyo before he became president. Then, so the man is just being so one-sided about the issue. So about that time, maybe Nigeria should defend themselves. I'm not gonna encourage that. Because uh, what, you, what is happening in US now is because people choose to defend themselves. Everybody have gone. If the young side defend themselves, in fact, it will become a state of lawlessness. Uh, what I want the government to do is that, uh, one, state police should be created so that the governor can take control of, his, of the security of his state. Two, um, herdsmen of a cattle rearing is a private business or personal business. So there's no point vandalizing people's farm and kill, taking human lives because you are rearing animal in the person's backyard and person's land. So I think uh, every state government should have authority over the activities of these herdsmen because we are in a civilized country. We are no more in barbaric days when men should take laws into their hands. Because as people call it, some say uh, herdsmen stroke farmers clash. I don't see that as clash. I see that as invasion, invasion 
by headsmen. Filani headsmen killing. Government itself knew about the killing. Because I remember one time ago when Abacha was in the president of this country, Nigeria, he made one comment, say, if crisis lasts more than 48 hours, government know about it. In other words, Filani has men killing. Government doesn't want to do anything because they are using it to protect themselves. Fulani is in the power. In every sector of Nigeria power, Nigeria, Nigeria government, they are there around. It, it cannot tell me that government don't know what to do to stop them. But they are going on protecting them, doing as if they want to do anything. But they are there killing people there. Look at that. If we go to Paper Night, we saw whether they invite them, um, invite them um, Oshon and, the, and the, some other states, killing people there. Government are there. What are they doing? Nothing. So if government want to tell themselves the truth, to want to fight terrorists, fight against these people, they will do it. But the truth is that government doesn't want to do anything about the, about the killing of um, his men and felonies. They're supposed to call all the uh, leaders of this country. Let them uh, obtain a strong challenge. Because that is the only way forward. Because I believe that this uh, Buhari government is supporting Fulani Hesmen. Because during the time of uh, IPOP, they are not killing. They are just telling the whole world that they want to be free from bondage they have been. Because the government is not caring about the Igbos. But this time around, Buhari, the same thing, because he sent military to East, when the IPOP members are not killing, they are not doing anything, they are just celebrating, doing their own thing peacefully. He now sent Operator Python dance to go and kill so many people. Now, the Fulanese men are killing people every day. He could not do anything. He did not send military to go and do anything to stop everything. That means he's among all these Fulani. That is their plan to Islamize this country. So the best thing is for every tribe to go their own way. If, if the government cannot protect the people, the masses, they should defend themselves from the mass, from the henchmen, so that they will stop killing. And they should stop blackmailing all the government, something they are doing in the whole world. Because I don't understand the henchmen of a thing. Boko Haram, we left Boko Haram. Now we are into henchmen. What are the problems are we facing in Nigeria? Is it the handy time for us? I say actually. Government you know what they go do. If they want to, if the government wants to stop Flani Esme, you know lead them five minutes, then go stop Esme. But because of waiting, government, if you know they can't stop it because they know them. You understand? So this Nigeria government know them. Actually, the government itself is a sponsor Flani Esme. Before Flani, before Flani see gone. You go ask yourself where Flani see the gun. You understand? Because it's through Obasanjo time. Nothing like a gun for Flani Esme. You understand? So, during, after Obasanjo, Yaradua continue to uh, where Obasanjo uh, stop. You understand? So, because uh, I'm, I've, been seeing, I've been seeing Flani for Bush, I didn't see any gun when Obasanjo the rule. Actually, the time when Obasanjo knows uh, when he'll be uh, president of Nigeria, Flani they use a double banner cartridge. So, when Obasanjo enter, he didn't say no. They no sign, no flani to use gun. Then drop everything. So now, during Buhari time, flani begin to use AK-47. So it, it could mean that the Buhari know about the, the, you know, you know everything. You know Esme. You understand? You know them very well because I hear for news that now, federal government even buy boss for flani Esme. Where the boss come from? You go ask yourself where the boss of, come from? Who buy the boss for flani Esme? Every kidding, kidding, kidding. You don't ever hear say Buhari Lilat. You understand? So, we are not going to deceive ourselves. So, what in there they will say, all, mass, all masses like, like me now, eh? I protect myself because I didn't fear. I'm from a grill, from Manambra State, so I protect myself. So, if you fly here, they shoot God, I go tell them, say, would they chop him? You understand? Would they chop the gun? So, that is why.